policy is exemplary. I am not willing to operate without exception on any patient if my preoperative protocols for medical clearance are not wholly met. That means another physician of the patient's choosing examines the patient and verifies that patient's fitness for surgery in conjunction with other tests and labs that I request. This is a Hey, how you guys doing? So we have some new updates and I wanted to inform you guys about Jackie O. Uh, rest in peace. So her doctor is coming out and um, he is saying some things and people have so many questions. He's pretty much saying that it is not his fault that Jackie O passed away. Check this video out. It's Dr. Zach. Yes, my name has been in the tabloid media and understandably sensationalized given the circumstances. I want to clarify certain facts that have not been reported and are public knowledge. Please understand that due to patient privacy laws and out of respect for all my patients, there will never be mention of specifics now or in the future of any of my cases. As many of you know firsthand, my reputation in Miami for safety is exemplary. I am not willing to operate without exception on any patient if my preoperative protocols for medical clearance are not wholly met. That means another physician of the patient's choosing examines the patient and verifies that patient's fitness for surgery in conjunction with other tests and labs that I request. This is a standard protocol to ensure all aspects of a patient's health are medically considered. Since graduating from my plastic surgery residency at Brown University, I've operated on 2,000 patients, which is roughly 6,000 hours in the operating room. Every procedure is always performed to the highest medical standard, and our safety protocols are diligently observed by my entire team. The state of Florida is especially strict when it comes to any issues involving medical treatment that may not have been performed to recognize standards, resulting in a poor patient outcome. This certainly applies to procedures like those I specialize in. This oversight results in immediate suspension of the provider's ability to perform the operation of concern. My medical license remains active and unrestricted, and I remain in good standing with the Florida Department of Health. With that being said, we are currently seeing patients in the office and performing surgeries. Everyone, it's Dr. Zach but I understand him trying to protect his license and practice. Surgery is still at risk no matter what. If he dotted his T's and crossed his I's, he has the right to defend himself. How y'all mad at this man when it is well known that any surgery where you have to go under anesthesia is a high risk and could potentially cause your death? Y'all, he literally cannot mention her name. He can get sued. He just giving condolences allows us to identify who the patient is without even having to say her name. Y'all leave this man alone when you get any type of surgery. Death is always mentioned. It is a risk you take. It can be cosmetic or medical. Everyone's body doesn't respond the same let her rest in peace i wouldn't let this dude check my blood pressure uh, what he is saying without saying some people can have a medical professional exam and clear them on their pre-operation fitness protocol when their body might not be in the best state for surgery as far his part in the surgery, he received documents that verified that the patient was a go and ready for surgery. He is alleging that he doesn't make any exemptions to perform a surgery without proper clearance. And his faculty have other professionals that oversee to insurance safety. And on layman terms, her death might have been caused by underlying illness or oversight that was not reported in the exam, okay, prior to her surgery. And the surgery he performed didn't cause her death, allegedly. Girl, that right there, that is the ticket right there. You know, underlying illness or oversight, that was right there. I think we need to talk about this. What do you guys feel? You know?
all the answers always in the comments all right well comment let us know what you guys think and i will see you guys on another video right, should we go live about this tonight y'all press one if you want to go live about this